You know when you're using a color picker or even writing HTML or CSS, you'll see a color expressed as a little six-digit code with a pound sign in front of it? Well, that's called a hex code. And most designers have no idea, even professional designers, have no idea how to read a hex code or what a hex code is actually trying to tell us or what it's comprised of. So today, we're going to take a little deep dive and take a look at what a hex code is really made of. This video is brought to you by our friends at Skillshare. You may already be familiar with the fact that digital displays are RGB, which means that each tiny little pixel site actually has a really tiny little red, green, and blue light bulb in it that all of the colors that we see are made from. When all three of them mix together, you get white. When none of them are turned on, you get black. And then we have everything in between. Imagine that each one of these teeny tiny light bulbs is connected to a dimmer switch, like the dimmer switches that you might find in a house. And if you drag the dimmer switch all the way down to zero, you turn the bulb off. If you drag it all the way up to the top, you'll have the bulb at its maximum brightness. And we've got one for each of those three colored bulbs. The position of the dimmer switch for each red, green, and blue light bulb is actually exactly what a hex code is. It's called a hex code because there are six digits, two for each color channel. The weird thing is that each channel doesn't go from zero to 100 like you'd expect with percentages. And that's because each channel actually has 256 levels from zero up to 255. That number 256 is actually what 8-bit color means. Let's take a look at bits. A bit can be on or off, which is what all those ones and zeros mean when you look at binary code. So two possibilities per bit. Multiply two possibilities per bit times eight bits, and what do you get? 256 possibilities. But then how do we fit all 256 possibilities into two digits of a hex code? Easy. We dip into the alphabet when we run out of numbers. Instead of using base 10 to count from 0 to 9 like we normal human beings do, each digit of a hex code goes past 9 to A, then B, then C, then D, then E, all the way up to F. That gives us 16 possibilities per digit. And we have two digits for each color. So how many possibilities total for each color? You guessed it, 16 times 16 is that same 256. So again, a hex code is just three brightness values, one for red, one for green, and one for blue, each represented by two digits, each of which goes from zero to F, so that we have 16 possibilities per digit instead of just 10. If you found this video helpful, click the like button below to make it easier for other folks to find it, and subscribe if you haven't already. And to learn more about design from the same pros that I learned from, check out Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes covering dozens of creative and entrepreneurial skills. Perfect for fueling your curiosity, creativity, and especially your career. One of my favorite dudes in the business, Aaron Draplin, happens to have a course called Design Like Draplin, 21 tips for speeding up your design workflow where he'll walk you through his personal tricks for keeping things moving before, during, and after a design project. Skillshare is also super affordable at less than $10 per month for an annual subscription. And that gives you access to unlimited courses and communities for all the topics that you might be interested in. And because Skillshare is sponsoring this video, you can use the link in the description below to sign up for a two-month free trial. Enjoy, and I'll see you next time.